Oh boy, I'll tell you what, you dial that up nicely. Um, five runs and uh, just one base runner for MLC Floyd Valley. What can you say about this team's performance? Well, I think I'd start uh, right in the circle with Olivia that took a pretty good hitting team and uh, uh, shut them down throughout the entire course of the game. You know, I'm really disappointed that that one little bloop out there, uh, you know, has that broke up the no hitter, but uh, in a regional final to uh, shut out a, a team and to, uh, uh, in the fashion in which she did and uh, just give up the one hit, uh, what a sensational job. Just what we came to expect from her all season long. She's been that way all the time. Uh, some of our uh, underclassmen came through very well. Uh, Melina Woodward, of course, starting tough stuff off with that home run and then another double later on. And uh, Jada Jensen, you know, uh, great discipline at the plate for Jada and, and uh, drove the ball and put runners in scoring position. And I think the key there was uh, the fact that uh, we got runners on and then we got a ban. And uh, I, I, it was just an uh, uh, overall great team effort. Yeah, big hit by Woodward, and he got off that one nothing lead. And uh, really, Carlin Smith uh, threw well as he threw strikes, but you got those hits when you needed them, the timely hits against a pretty good pitching, uh, Carlin Smith. Ah, uh, she's a great pitcher, you know. Uh, I knew that when she was a third grader when she was here throwing <laughs> balls around this, uh, well, the different, the old diamond. But, uh, uh, you know, she's a competitor. Her mom's a competitor. Uh, they were well coached and, and played extremely well. Um, you know, I, the, I, I think we... The umpire wasn't really calling that high strike, which helped us get with her uh, rise ball. But, uh, you know, the, the bottom line is we were disciplined at the plate, I thought, against a really, really good pitcher that moved the ball around and threw fairly hard, and it paid off in the end. Well, Coach, uh, let's start with 33 wins. Now we can talk about it. Uh, this team <laughs> breaks the record, and I know you got a lot more business to take care of, but uh, I'll tell you what, uh, what a season it's been and more to come, huh? Yeah, absolutely. You know, now the now the fun kind of things for the girls begin and the work begins for Mr. Mitchell and I getting all the arrangements and stuff made for state and those kinds of things. But, uh, you know, we don't mind that kind of uh, work that we got to do in the next couple of days. But, uh, you know what, I, again, I, I, it's just, I, I told them in, at the very beginning of the game that uh, the uh, uh, they all started especially these seniors but all of them started in uh, third grade and we had them in the little league clinics and those kinds of things and honestly tonight now games moving forward that's why they were there every time they picked up a bat a ball a glove a dad sitting on a bucket catching a pitch I mean that was uh, all leading up to this moment and uh, uh, they uh, they came out uh, fired up and cashed in on it well, a year ago, you didn't feel like this, and uh, no. this year you do, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, you didn't feel like this last yeah, year. This is fantastic. Congratulations. Oh, you had this marked on the calendar, get this far, and now the state tournament. And uh, talk about your thoughts going into the state tournament. Obviously... Well, first thing we got to do is uh, get a computer, start figuring out who won and who lost and where we fit in. We know that uh, some seeds higher than us lost earlier uh, already. Uh, so we'll see how, uh, you know, where we plug in and where we start playing. and. You know, we'll take a day off here, but then uh, as far as uh, scouting and those kinds of things, everything comes back. We start again on um, on Wednesday trying to figure out a game plan against whoever it is that we play. Coach, thanks a bunch. Congrats. We'll see you in four days. Thanks, Tom.